Hey, five people have got very, very sore heads this morning. I don't know if you saw them at around ooh, seven o'clock last mm -hmm. night. Just before. We were there. Weren't yes, we? we loved it. Yeah, that's when they went from sort of virtual nobodies, really, to number one. Hearsay are officially pop stars now. They made it to the top of the charts with Pure and Simple. And the nation, including us, witnessed their reaction live last night. We can confirm you are officially number one. How do you feel? <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. We can't believe it. Official fact here, Noel. Sorry? You've sold 549,823 <laughs> copies. Wow. That's the third fastest selling single ever behind Band Aid and Elton John's Candle in the Wind. Mm, Amazing. Do you see their mums? Oh, their mums. <laughs> so, I wanted to hear more from their mums, actually. Yeah, it was a bit... Davina had to move on, didn't she? I know, I know. But they were so excited, and they'd been behind him all the way, naturally. And they poor were... old Noel's mum had lost her voice, That's because Wales won the rugby at yeah, the weekend exactly. in France. She was completely yeah. gone. It was brilliant. Well, you can find out how the fabulous five, uh, that's the band, uh, did it as we talk to them about their newfound success at 8.25. Don't miss it. Okay, what are we going to do next? Hey, we're talking pure and simple, and it's not just hearsay. They took the charts by storm. We talk to Danny about what it means to be sitting pretty at number one. He's up next. I'm known now they're the hippest, hottest, most hyped band since the Spice Girls. Here's so they're sitting prettily at number one this morning, and uh, here's they reacted to here's how they reacted rather to news of their success last night. Wait, number two. Two. And <laughs> 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 hey, we all shared that with them last night, didn't we? A great moment, well deserved, and hey. The cheekiest little man of them all, Danny, is oh. on the line this morning. Danny, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you very much. We're all very fine today. We're, we're just on our way to a TV, <laughs> but we're, like, really, really happy. I oh, bet yeah. you are. Oh, hey, they're all up as well. I thought you'd be the only one up this morning. Have you got no. sore heads? Pardon? Have you got sore heads? No, we haven't got that sore heads. I mean, we did have a couple of glasses of champagne, but not <laughs> too much, not too much. <laughs> we were just ecstatic. I mean, no kind of drink could ever... Put a feeling of having a number one like that, really, can it? No, I'm sure, and it's well deserved. And hey, all those people who said you're going to be one hit wonders or you'd never make it, what would you like to say to them this morning? I'd say you better watch out because this is just the beginning. <laughs> I know we're just breaking records, unbelievable. Yeah, isn't it incredible? Hey, the fastest selling debut single of all time, amazing. I know. We got, the thing is, we were very kind of uh, in denial all week, and we kind of heard figures through the papers and stuff, but we didn't actually know the final figure. But when they gave us the kind of trophy from the Guinness Book of Records, we was like, oh, my God, you know, we were breaking records. It's really cool. Yeah, and then it really hit home, didn't it? So how's your girlfriend? How's she taking the news of this? She's fine. She's really cool. I mean, she's really happy for us, and, you know, she's doing what she's doing, and I'm doing what I'm doing, and it's all working out really well. Where are you? Where's that motorbike coming from in the background there? We're on the Fitchley Road at the minute. Oh, you're off somewhere else. God, they do work you hard, don't they? <laughs> no rest, but you've got to work hard, don't you, if you want to be successful? Yeah, I guess so, but it's relentless, isn't it? Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, we're having the time of our life. We're on the biggest adventure of our life, and obviously all the hard work we're putting on is paying off, and people are supporting us, and we're really proud of that. Yeah, I know. You sound so happy, and no-one wants to take that away. Congratulations. It's well-deserved. But the papers, I don't know if you've seen them this morning, Danny, yet? No, no, I haven't seen them in the papers this morning. Well, Daily Star, you're on the front page, along with Posh and Bex, who were out last night having a meal oh, yeah. at the Ivy again. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but on the front, it says, Hearsay Danny's threat to quit. Hey? Hey, oh. exactly. Apparently, <laughs> I'm quitting, guys, in the papers today. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm very much in the band. You know, this is only the beginning, and how would I quit a successful really band like this? You know, it's going really well, and no, that's no, it's not true at all. Yeah, it's the price of fame, Danny, because actually, when you read the actual story, it, it was before you even did the auditions <laughs> that you thought that you might not get in the band, so you thought you might not go through with it. That's what it says. But we're glad oh, right. you're sticking on in there. Congratulations. Thanks all our love much. to all of you, and uh, enjoy your day. And let's hope you get some time to enjoy it, finally. Cheers. Thanks to everyone out there for buying us in, Gwen. Thanks to DMTV. All right, Danny. Give our love to the rest of them. Thanks we very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do you know, I can't believe Bless how him. savvy...
they, they have all become in five nights. I, I mean, some of those answers it's were giving so anything away, seven. aren't they? Yeah. Dr. Fox is here, and he has seen it all before. Well, it is amazing, though. They were in on Tuesday, and we said, have you seen the record figures? And they said, no, no, no one's telling us. And on, the, on Monday, last Monday, they sold, like, 170,000 in a day, yeah. which is normally more than you need to be number one in a week. Yeah. So um, I said, look, you're going to be number one. You better get used to it. And they're going, the thought of even being number one is too scary at the moment. Mm -hmm. But as the week went on, I mean, and they were selling by Thursday 300,000. It was, it was crazy. So they're coping. They're trained. Yeah. It's taken five months. Does it last? Well, they're very, they are very trained. But, you know, there have been lots of great manufactured bands. Spice Girls probably one of the most famous to, to, of, of our sort of recent years. Um, but they were sort of training for two years before we ever knew about them. I think the weird thing for these guys is that you have to remember, and Noel said, you know, five months ago, he was serving, he was saying, do you want chips with your hamburger? Yeah. I mean, he was working in a shop, and Danny was stacking shelves at a supermarket. Yeah. I mean, that is the reality of what they were and what they are now. It's pretty hard to cope with all this. Um, they are very savvy. They've been trained by the best. They've got the best songs, best choreographers. Everything is the best. Um, whether they can hack the pressure, because, yeah. look, they had number one yesterday, and they're out again doing something else this morning. They looked a bit tired when I saw him on Tuesday and it's a tough it's a bit yeah. of a treadmill they're on now and the record company can see a lot of money in this well I hope they're gonna look after them I know the I cash so. signs are ringing up in their eyes albums but... out in two weeks time you know so the singles out now the albums out it's kind of then plug, the plug, tour plug. it'll be the tour the dolls are out already but I mean yeah. good luck to them they are enjoying it and why not they're saying this is as he said there, it's the adventure of a lifetime milk it while you can yeah. um, everyone who watched the series sort of partly wanted to be there and I think that's why so many people bought the record it was their chance of well if I can't do it it's kind of nice to see these other people we know it. them yeah well you felt part of mm. them it's sort of like part yeah. of this I, ju I just really hope they do get time to enjoy it because I, so. I mean it is relentless at the moment and you know the casualties along the way I mean the Spice Girls they've had bouts of depression boys oh Mikey spoke about the yeah. hell they went through on the way up I just hope they're finally allowed to enjoy it at some time but nice as Noel said it's better though than Set, oh, you're hamburgers. right, of course it They're is, loving yeah. it, and good luck to them. Yeah, exactly. Employee of the month, no. <laughs> All Thanks right. for coming in this morning. Pleasure. This is better than selling hamburgers generally, isn't it? I no, wish yeah. it was sort of a, at a late-night cafe. Home, home, home by nine, <laughs> weird job. Good fun, though. All right, we'll see you again tomorrow.